little blips. Good. Well, let me know if I need to turn it up, but let us launch into demo number two, Moonstone Island. This should be good. Oh, it's already cute. Wakey, wakey, sleepy bones. I know it's your last day at home, but that doesn't mean you can skip your chores. Come over here and give your old man a hand. This is adorbs. Heh, <laughs> I love how it says right up at the top, Moonstone Island Alpha Demo. Alright, so... <gasps> what? I've already got three. Relationships, map not available, crafting. So the interesting about let me try that again. The interesting thing about this game is that it is a hybrid between a um Stardew Valley and a monster collector. Probably. Oh, I'm sure it is for the demo Amaryllis. But yeah, this one is a hybrid between like a Stardew Valley and a monster collection game, so this should be super interesting. So, first off, these crops need harvesting. You could be in for a very long journey out there. After all, you get to decide which island you choose to become your new home. I don't want you to leave home empty-handed and hungry. Right then, roll up your sleeves and let's get these crops harvested. Oh, and could you also grab that lily pad on the shore? Time to grow, okay? Alright, so it's got the same controls as Stardew. Oh, I can eat the lily pad. That's interesting. Harvest. Harvest. Stone fruit. Alright, I harvested the stuff. What do you want? And yeah, I do kind of look like a smurf, don't I? Let's go over the basics again. Lesson one, useful plants. Remember what I taught you. Flax is good for taming spirits. That's the one that looks like the little purple flowers. Stone fruit, this big round lad, is best for restoring stamina. Okay. And lily pads have healing properties. They taste awful, though. All these plants are spring crops, so keep an eye out for useful plants in other seasons. Good job. Lesson 2. Harvesting seeds. You'll need seeds to grow more of the same plant. If you want to get seeds, you have to cut down the plant. Use your scythe to harvest seeds from any plant, even wild ones. Come over here and harvest the seeds in this plot. In clip if we have recorded the crafty said she was adorably cute. Hey, my character in the game is cute, not me personally. Ah, okay. So this controls very much like Stardew. Very, very much Stardew. That was doubled. Yeah, I had to do something funky with the game audio. I had to do something funky with the game audio, so you might have doubled uh, Biku Bot, unfortunately. Alright, seeds are harvested. And welcome on in, Furry Fox. Welcome in. But any monster country to start a style game, I see a lot of potential with the idea. But yeah, this is this is a charming idea, and actually, I'm curious. I'm just trying to show what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, I also noticed there's no music, but this is a very early demo. I don't think this one's slated to come out until 2024. But I want to play it. Like, I am super excited about this one, because the whole idea of a Stardew monster collector, yes. I mean, I'm still trying to get my hands on Rune Factory 5. <laughs> but that's going to be a long game. Nicely done. Now, take this hoe and use it to dig a hole. When you dug a hole, you can plant those seeds inside of it. You can also use the holes that are already here if you don't want to make new ones, I suppose. Well, I would like to use the holes that are already here because I'm lazy. Oh, yeah, this is just like Stardew. This is just like Stardew. Oh, nice, Batman. Nice. I'm going to assume, though, that you're now talking about... Uh, one of the Pokemon games, because there's no gym battles in Animal Crossing. There. Alright, Dad. Perfect. Now, once those seeds are planted, you have to tend them to help them grow. 
Here, take this watering can and give those seeds a drink. Okay, so this is very standard Stardew stuff here. God, this is adorable. This is so cute! Well, we're gonna find out, Furry Fox. We're gonna find out. Um, what you didn't see when I started up the game is that this is limited to one week in game. So we'll we'll see how this goes. We will see. Beautifully done. Lesson three: Growing plants. Remember, crops need to be watered every day. If not, they wither and die, and you lose all your hard work. Of course, you can always hope for a rainy day to do the job for you. Truth. But stay there, Tick. There's something else I want you to have. You see, I've been raising three spirits in secret. They still need plenty more training, but they'll be strong enough to keep you safe. You might have seen this before. It's your mother's medallion. Here we go. It's a sort of portal to a pocket dimension where spirits can reside. This medallion is yours now, and I put the spirits I've been training in there already. Nice! Hop into the medallion and choose one to have as your companion. This isn't a test. Don't worry. They're all good. Strong spirit. Okay, press start to view journal. Ooh, what? Uh-oh. These are all adorable. Uh, Alright, so we got a bee, we got a lamb, and we have a dinosaur. You know we're going to choose the dinosaur, but let's check out these other two first. View cards and stats. Uh, armor 2, speed 3, vital power. Interesting. The first time, uh, Kapak... Kapakabi? Kapakabi. Falls to 0 HP. It's HP is restored. Oh, it's got res. Bash, 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 charge, shock. Tackle, tackle, zap, zap. Also, you'll notice, chat, um, this isn't your, your uh, typical monster collection game. It's a card battler. <laughs> it's a card battler. Cap Assibi? Capacity? 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 I think I'm saying it right. I don't know. I'm on Sudafed. My brain is not working. I guess Rivers from before cross code against what I play. Yeah, yeah, I know, Bunny Fist. Like Yu Gi Oh! Capacity? Which makes sense considering it's an electric bee. Capacity? Sheep? <laughs> it's called sheep? <laughs> Crafty, don't squee. You're just going to make yourself cough. Oh my goodness. Anytime sheep takes fire damage, it applies burn equal to its power to a random enemy. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's freaking fantabulous. Alright, well, let's look at dinosaur. Because you know we're going to choose the dinosaur. Ankleo? Ankleo automatically gains one rage every three turns. Drop, kick, bash, rage. Okay. So what do you think, chat? Sheep, bee, or dinosaur? Sheep, bee, or dinosaur? Shout it out. Choose my starter. <laughs> Choose my starter, my friends. Strong spirit. Can my dad have gotten a spirit train so it's safe? That's two for dinosaur. Three dinosaur. Okay. Well, that's three for the dino. Go for the beep of the rage dino. Right. Well, and this is just a demo. So when we actually get this game, because I've already decided that this one is being bought at some point. All right. Pick the Ankleo. Pick Ankleo. Hi. All right. I guess that's all I have to do. Hi, Dad. Thank Leo. Great choice. I thought you might choose that one. I'm sure you two would take good care of each other. Don't worry about the other two. Your mother and I will take care of them. This game is beyond pro- <gasps> Look, over there. A wild spirit. This is perfect timing. Get over there and show me what you and your spirit can do. Oh, yeah, that would make it a little hard for me to play. It would make it a little hard for me to play Bunny Fist. I understand a little bit of German, but I can't read it to save my life. Oh my good! Oh, it saw me! No! No! Alright, we'll battle. <gasps> what?
What? Looks like this gremlin has higher speed than your spirit, so it gets to make the first move. Okay. Oh my goodness. Enemy turn. Rock throw. Your turn. Time for lesson four. Banishing spirits. Hopefully the game audio isn't too loud. I turned it down as soon as it started. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that it was going to get loud. I did, I found a gremlin. You need to subdue these spirits to pacify them. They're not supposed to be this aggressive. The most important thing to remember, armor blocks attack damage. Reduce their armor to zero to make them dizzy and deal extra damage. Try using bash to reduce the gremlin's armor and leave it open to attack. Awesome. Oh, it's Gemlin. Oh, it is. You are correct. It is Gemlin. This is too cute. And yes, I did just turn down the music a little. Um, all right. Deal five earth damage. Tackle, tackle. Uh, let's do a bash. Perfect. Bond between you and your spirit is already strong. Don't forget, if you reduce your opponent's armor to zero, it will get dizzy. Being dizzy makes them miss the next turn, which is your chance to deal more damage. Now you got two energy left, so let's play two more cards. Okay, let's do a rock throw. Probably won't do much. And tackle. And now you're all out of energy. End your turn now, and let's see what this wild spirit does. This is such a neat take on a monster collection game. Hold down to end turn. What a neat take on a monster collection making it a card battler. I already see a lot of potential in this. Oh dear, that looked like it hurt. Just to be safe, you should heal your spirit. Remember I told you that lily pads are good for healing? Use the feed action to feed a lily pad to your spirit now. And sorry, my noggin is kind of covering things. that really quick. Go ahead and put me over here. There you go. There you go. Now I'm on the correct side so you can see what I'm doing over here. Feed. Lily pad. Feed it to him. There you go. Your spirit is looking much healthier. Looks like Jimlin is about to use Earthquake on you though. With the right moves, you might be able to stop that from happening. Now, use another bash to bring that Gemlin's armor to zero. Get rid of that armor and you make them busy so they can't attack. Okay. Bash. Bash. I also just realized I have no arms. Brilliant work. Nice done. Brilliant done. Nice work. There you go. Now you've got the upper hand. Damage dealt to a spirit with no armor is much higher than usual. Bring it to HP to zero and banish it to the great beyond. Well, I don't want to banish it. I want to catch it. We have enough energy. Oh, we're done with our turn. Ooh, there's a fast turn? Whoa, 10 damage. And he's gone. Loot found stone fruit and some cash. Great work. One more thing. Lesson 4.5, I suppose. Spirits can be tamed and brought into your medallion. Tame a spirit and you can use it in future battles. Remember to have flax on hand for taming. Spirits love it. Uh, I guess now I need to go find a spirit. Sweetheart, are you done out there? Come back to the house. I have something else to give you before you go. Well, I'm kind of walking towards the house. <gasps> Look at this! Why am I sparkly? Hi. You look wiped out. Did your father have you banishing spirits for him? Of course he did. I'll make you a cup of tea, you poor thing. Why don't you eat one of those stone fruit you harvested to gain back some of your energy? Take care. Another super addicting yogurt covered sim. Oh, that sounds delicious. Okay, so we can't... I thought maybe I could adjust the volume there, but we cannot. That's okay. Eat a stone fruit. I will do this. Nom. <laughs> it kind of is, Buddy Fist. It kind of is. That's better. Now that your dad's done with you, I want 
want to tell you about the medallion he gave you. The medallion used to be mine, and now we are passing it down to you. Your moonstone medallion is a sacred tool invented by alchemists that came before us. Within it lies a pocket dimension that can house up to three spirits. The spirits you keep in this medallion will come to your aid should you need help. You can also build a barn to... Oh. You can also build a barn to house them in, which I think is a lot cozier. I know this is all a bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. I'm... I'm already... I am already hooked. Looks like that fight you had earlier got you experience. Let's try leveling up one of your spirits. You can do that by entering your medallion. While you're in there, feed them this Nimbus plant too. It'll make them strong for your journey tonight. Yeah, I'm already sold. Well, it's just, it's such a neat concept. It's such a neat concept, and I already know what the next step is going to be. Um, open your medallion. Okay. How do open medallion? Uh. Um. Oh. Yeah. Hold A to enter medallion. Whoa! What? Interesting. We're throwing over those seventy-five crores. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad, emeralds. And that sounds super tasty too. Hi, buddy. Hi. I would like to feed you this Nimbus plant. Boost the power of a spirit. Nice. Now, let's level you up. Ooh. Oh, God, this is just like an RPG. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, speed, vitality, damage. Um, we'll upgrade s armor. Because that's a little... What? Dude, I get to choose a card, too? Draw one attack card from your draw, or draws one random card from discard. Discard your hand and draw that many. No, we'll take drop kick. That sounds fun. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, dang. You know, I love it. I really do love it when games find original ways to change a concept. I really do adore it when games find a way to change a known concept. And I am thinking this one's got a lot of potential. But let's see. I mean, we haven't even gotten off our first island yet. Thank you for doing that. Your father is all about the fighting, but you have to take care of your spirits, too. Now your spirits should have the strength they need to keep you safe. I can't believe you're leaving home today. I'll miss you so much. But you won't be gone for a year, right? Then you have completed your alchemy training. I'm so proud of you. Hmm. Are you sure you're ready to go? Can I stick around a little bit longer? Oh, sweetheart, of course you can. There's no rush. You have to leave at some point and you can't be putting it off. I know it's scary, but you have a lot to prepare. So let me know when you're ready so I can see you off. Okay, I want to go see if we can maybe capture some more monsters here, but I don't think it's going to let us. Hi, Dad. Really, I can't talk to you anymore. I have a feeling that we are now... Yeah, it's not going to let us capture monsters here. That's okay. <laughs> Typical Pokemon game. Just run around in the tall grass. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's go talk to Mom and get off this island. And you get to see the next cool feature of this game. All right, Mom, let's go. Yeah, I noticed that too, Bunny Fist. Let's go. Spend a year away from home. All right, then. This is it. Next time I see you, you'll be a fully-fledged alchemist. Here we go! This is one last gift for you, kid. Yeah, it's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. Exactly, Melina. I made you these tools. They're not much, but they'll get you started out there. Now, give your dad a hug. We're both so proud of you. I got a... Whoa! What is all the stuff you just gave me? Here's a few seeds from the garden. I've been saving them for you. Plant them as soon as you settle in, okay? You'll need them for your... 
big adventure. Nice. Just remember, we'll be with you wherever you are, whenever you decide to call home. And we love you so much. And I'm so proud of you to see you following in our footsteps, sweetheart. You're going to make a great alchemist. Remember, all alchemists share a love of things that grow. It applies not only to your crops, but also to the people around you. Oh, my darling. I'm so excited to see who you grew into. Just promise me you'll be safe out there. The world is changing, becoming more dangerous. I promise. We need you back in one piece, okay? Well, the wind is starting to pick up. I guess it's time for me to let you go. Time for the final lesson. Charge that broom up, then release its energy to catch the wind. And be safe, okay? We love you. Oh, buddy. Broom. Ah! Zoom. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. And Dungeons, thanks for waiting. Oh my god. Did I mention, too, that all of the ions are procedurally generated? <laughs> so not only is this a monster collection game, and a farming game, and a card battler, it's also a roguelike. Can you tell I'm a little excited about this game? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little excited about this one? Because it's it's combining a whole bunch of different uh, genres here, which is so freaking awesome. Which also means that every playthrough of this game will be different. And I am stoked about that. Huh, what's that light over there? Oh, there's a town off in the distance. Finally, I n hope they need an alchemist. Because I really need to get off this broom. I think I'm getting splinters. <laughs> yeah, it's totally the Sudafed. Wow, this wind is getting really strong. Is it supposed to be this hard to stay on the broom? Oh no, I think I'm losing control. How do you land this thing? Uh-oh, we're gonna crash. Mayday, mayday! Oh no, there goes my brand new broom. Ugh. And I dropped the tools Dad gave me and Mom's seeds. Of course you did. I guess I'm not leaving here anytime soon. I better look around and see if I can find the tools and seeds I dropped. There's the seeds. Oh no, it's the broken broom. Look at my dinosaur! Look at my dinosaur! So which genre do you want? Yeah, exactly, Bunny Fist. But it's always a dicey thing. Treasure map. It's always a dicey thing, though, when games try to do this many genres at once. You either succeed or you don't. And it's working so far. Exactly, Amaryllis. And yes, I did say, it's getting a bit dicey. Oh, there's the seeds. And there's my axe. Why is this lit up over here? Moonstone. Interesting. <laughs> but yes... Ankly is our friend over there. All right, we got our hammer. There's another treasure map. We find I said, "Oh heck yeah, heck yeah, Amaryllis." Someday I would love to meet everyone out there in Chatlandia in person. Speaking of, if anyone's going to first squared up in Wisconsin, Zero Wolf and I are going there. Oh no, I fell asleep. Try to get to bed before two a. Okay, so this is one of those games. Monday, Spring 1, Dungeons Cleared, Spirits Discovered, Spirits Tamed, Spirits Banished, Items Sold. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're up. Are you okay? Oh, you're cute. I saw you drop out of the sky last night, and then I found you passed out on the ground. So I got Quill to carry you here, and I was worried you weren't going to wake up. But you did! I guess with that get-up, you must be the new alchemist. How exciting! Or a new stunt performer. <laughs> anyway, you can stay in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said crash. That's really insensitive, isn't it? This game is precious. I mean, you can sleep here if you want. Also, is it just me, or are the 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 heads up of the characters very Ghibli? They're very uh, Studio Ghibli. I have to charge rent eventually, though. Oh, and I think these are your tools. I'll just leave them here for you. 
I found them scattered all over the place. I hope you, it's okay that I picked them up. Maybe you could get your tent set up in the north side of town. Then you'll have a place all yourself. I guess you could also set up on one of the other islands, but there are wild spirits out there. I think maybe you should take it easy for the time being. Anyway, take your time getting up. You seem pretty bruised up, and I don't think anything's broken. I have some work for you, too. So come talk to me when you're ready. Let's start to view the journal. Yeah, no, it is very kiki. I agree, Emeralds. It is very kiki. Let's go back to MFF. Well, Zero Wolf and I will be going to MFF every year that we are available to. All right, so we need to do a couple of things here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put our medallion here. Uh, we're going to put our bow there, our axe there, our hammer there, scythe there, broken broom. Once Glorious no broken broom, this can be discarded. Okay. Not going to discard it, but we'll hold on to it for now. A tent containing a pocket dimension that can be turned into a home. Oh, nice. Um, map of buried treasure. Use. Cool. Moonstone. Five days to harvest. Uh, interesting. Yeah, source of income before I go, so it might be. Yeah, well, that that's fair, Emeralds. That's fair. I'll probably ship that broom. So we got one week to play, chat. We got one week to play around in this world, so let's get to it. You're up, and you're alive. I realize I totally forgot to introduce myself before. My name is Asono, and I run the tavern here on Moonstone Island. Come by anytime. Well, anytime we're open, I mean. Oh, I got something for you. Soil crate? Oh, cell crate. It's a crafting recipe for a cell crate. Build one and place it wherever you get set up. You can drop anything you want to sell in there, like props or items. I'll pick it up at the end of the day and pay you for everything that's in there. If you want more recipes, you'll have to find them, I'm afraid. I hear mines and dungeons are a good place to start. Since you're here, can I ask you a quick favor? I need some stone to rebuild some minor basement damage. Don't ask. If you have time, could you bring me some? I would love to. Happy to help. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Let's put the stone in the cell crate and I'll pick it up. Whee! That Sudafed is... What? Oh, apparently I can ask them on a date. Shop. Coffee, beer, wine. Osono's dish of the day. Ha! <laughs> Whatever Osono feels like making today, effects may vary. Uh, okay, well, there's a dating system. Oh, what? No, I don't want to date you yet. Give gift. I will give you a broken broom. <laughs> I have a broken broom. No way, I really like flowers. They smell amazing, thank you. Um, sure. What? Uh, interesting. So there's a complicated relationship system here I'm seeing. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Considering I gave her a broken broom and uh, she said thank you for the flowers. <laughs> it's an alpha demo. I'm not going to complain. Like that, that is one thing is you get a complete pass on demos for things being, oh, she's adorable. Guiana. Huh, we're close. You must be the new alchemist. I'm Guiana. I work in the conservatory. If you don't mind, I have somewhere I need to be. Chat. Ah, I like Guiana, and I love the fact that she's got a nose ring. Oh, heck. We're two for two so far, chat. We're two for two on games that Crafty wants to buy. What? Oh, I heard you broke your new broom. I'm sorry, sweetheart. That's a rough start. I hope you didn't hurt yourself too badly. Your father says that he did the same thing when he first left home. So I suppose you take after him. Why don't you try crafting a balloon? That way you can travel between the islands and find the bits that need to make a new broom. Easy peasy. Love, Mom. Oh my goodness. I am in love. I am in love, I am in love, I am in love, I want this. 
Uh, okay. So I can hammer the rocks? Yes? Ah! Oh my goodness, this is so cute! Okay, so you can eventually break the rocks. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. I like this. I like this. So we need to find a spot to set up our tent. Yeah, I am getting rambly. Part of that is the Sudafed, and part of that is just I am already getting into this and really wishing that this game was not uh, a demo. Cause I, I could totally squeak this in as a retro game, right, chat? <laughs> I could totally say that this is a retro game. I'm also getting hungry, which is not helpful. Ah, the alchemist. Osono well, told me you'd arrived in style. Ophelia. I'm Ophelia. Well, you might hear some people call me Lena, too. Okay. I'm the botanist in town. I whip up cures for what ails them. I suppose you'd be doing that, too? Well, as you're going to be here for a while, I was wondering if we could make use of your training. The wild spirits running around, it has become too dangerous to collect seeds from the outer islands like we used to. Would you be able to collect seed specimens from the other islands and turn them in here? If you do, we'll be able to propagate them and... Ah, make them available for purchase at the general shore. It's seed time. Nice. Give seeds. I will give you one stone fruit. Thank you, before I propagate this type of seed. Okay, what about flax? Before I propagate it. Okay, well, that's not helpful. Ah, okay. Good to know, chat. Good to know, when you hit the sort button, it sorts all of the inventory. So I will not be doing that. I will flirt with you. Oh no. Oh no, we're done. I have made you unhappy. Say goodbye. Alright, let's go down here to this shop. We're going to have to set up our tent somewhere. Ooh, Paolo. You're cute, too. Ah, yes, yes. You're the alchemist. I am Paolo. I do all the carpentry work around here. I'm sure you've met some of the others in town already. Is everyone treating you well? Ah, we don't get newcomers that often. Oh. Chat. Oh, no. I guess I won't talk to you, then. Uh, shop. Torch crafting recipe. I... Oh, I only have 50 gold. Chair, dining table, fridge, west wing. North wing, east wing, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Newcomers, yeah, exactly. Oh, lordy. Alright. Actually, I need to test something. Um, let me go to the next shop, but I want to check my mailbox, too, because apparently there's mail. Oh, that's interesting. You can make a... Oh. Use. Moonstone Mail Co. Spring 2. This is your personal mailbox. You can access letters to the mailbox in town or craft your own. I can't afford this item. Yeah, there's definitely some things going on. All right, so now I'm curious. We're going to stand here for a second and see if the clock advances. It does. Okay. So, noted. Clock advances when in stories. Oh, my God, Rowan. You're adorable. Uh, so Walmart servers care my size, so ugh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Winter Bunnachie. But that's better than 52 bucks for one pair of jeans, because that's what we spend on zero, because he loves his Levi's. I just go for the cheap ones. Oh, hi, you're new. Welcome to the Moonstone Island. I run the shop here, and I can help you with supplies and stuff. Oh, and I'm Rowan. Sorry. Let me know if I can help you settle in. What do you got? Shop. Compost bin. Nice. Growth, stamina, healing, tame. Ah, power, speed, experience. Nice. Flax seeds, stone fruit, lily pads, cattails. Okay. 
And we're a relaxed fit, nice. No, not not exactly. Not exactly, Roy. I just know that Zero Wolf likes his, uh, he's a very brand person. And that's fine. I'm just, I don't care. I don't care. Ooh. Shop will open at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. So we need to set up our tent. We need to find a spot to set up our tent. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. All right, that's the conservatory, I'm guessing. Sorry, I'm so snivelly today. I'm trying not to be. Not that I can really help it. I just feel bad. All right. Well, that, I guess, is pretty much the town. So, if we go north, we can set up our tent somewhere up here. And we'll, uh, we'll get a farm going. Because that is what you do in this kind of game, right? Is you set up a farm. Betcha I can chop down a tree, too. I just realized, too, this is probably called Moonstone Island because it's moon-shaped. We'll find out. Let's see what's over here. All right, the sun is setting. Noted. I probably should be harvesting seeds, not just picking up these plants. And I'm mildly curious what's over here. I also just realized there's a hut up in the corner that I could be referring to. I wonder if the tent can be de deployed and undeployed. Oh no. Oh no, Amaryllis. No apologies needed. It is what it is. Just glad you're back, safe and sound. Oh, well, thank you for that. Thank you very much for that. Alright, Scythe. Oh, I found clay. Okay. What are you doing? Hello. You must be the new alchemist everyone's talking about. Nice to meet you. I'm Professor Zed. I run the Science Center. You drop by sometime. I'd love to talk research with you. It's great to finally have an alchemist in town. I've been wanting to do some experience using spirit resources. Oh, you don't know what a spirit resource is? Let me explain then. If you keep spirits in a spirit barn and feed them fiber every day, they'll eventually start producing spirit resources. Uh-oh. That can be used for all sorts of interesting things. If you don't mind, gather up some of the more common resources and bring them to me. I'll be sure to reward you for your efforts. Sure. Alright, so we need to build a barn, apparently. Yeah, that's true. That is true, Amaryllis. Oh, what's this? Uh... Is this a dungeon? No. Lena? Oh, you're not Lena. Interesting. Night. Okay. I probably shouldn't set up my house up here, though. Alright, well, I think we've pretty much explored everything we can. It does sound kind of sus. Um... Alrighty, we need to choose a spot to set up. I choose you. I choose this spot. Oh, chat. I am going to lose my mind when this game actually launches. Alright, so, first thing we need to discover is... Oh, look at the burbs! Can tent be deployed and undeployed? Is the first question. Oh, what? Uh, I found a dungeon? Well then, this is the perfect place to set up a tent now. I found an island. 
No, don't eat the stone fruit, you idiot. No. Eh, 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 eh. eh, eh. Alright. Let's set up our tent. Um. Whew, this is dicey. Alright, we'll set up the tent there. Uh, okay, I can't set up the tent there. Where can I set up my tent? Uh, game. Let me set up my tent, please. Uh, alrighty. I guess maybe we have to cut down some trees? Maybe I don't have enough room for my tent yet. Up, 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 up. I just figured since we found a dungeon, we might as well set up here. At least I'm assuming that's a dungeon. I don't know. Also, I do not know why I have the theme for Yoshi's Island stuck in my head today. This one of those days. I blame the Sudafed. There we go. I made a tent. I made a tent. I made a tent, 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 tent. I've already got it. <laughs> yeah, I already grabbed it, Amaryllis. I'm kind of surprised to see that one. Um, I'm honestly kind of surprised to see that one already being a free game. That's concerning because that means it's probably not doing too good, which is unfortunate. All right, well, I guess we're going to go to bed. Can I wait? Oh, I can rearrange. Nice. But yeah, I remember we had the demo for that one. I didn't get to play it because the um the demo was broken when I tried to play it and I couldn't uh control anything. And we never got back to it. Yes, sleep for the night. Dungeons cleared, spirits discovered, spirit tamed, spirits banished. No items sold. Okay. I wonder how I craft that chest. Right here. Chest. Balloon. Use to travel between islands. May not be the fastest or safest way, but it gets the job done. Cell crate. Oh, I can make one of these. Oh, no, I need more wood. Okay. We need more wood. Oh, it's raining, and I got a letter. Hey, you should take some time to introduce yourself to the people in town. They're all very excited to meet you and think some of them might even have some work for you. Cheers, Osono. Well, I've already started interviewing people, but I want to see what's down here. I am very curious about this. I also see a chest in the corner. Nice. What is this? Oh, nice. We got the torch recipe. Provides light. Torch added to inventory. Okay, so how does this work? <laughs> well, thank you for continuing to be an executive producer, Winter Bonnachie, for three heckin' months. Thank you for that, and thank you for continuing. I already said... Wow, I'm spacey. Hi, brains. We try that again. Thank you for continuing to be an executive producer, Winter Bonner Chief. It is very much appreciated. Ooh, okay. So this is just like... This is just like a Stardew game where you place the torches. I wish Triggerfire was actually doing the announcements. Also, I love how I've kind of said heck it to uh, starting a farm and we're just playing in the mines now. Because I am curious, actually. We really should try farming, though. <gasps> oh, it's a gemlin! It's a gemlin! Hi! Hello, buddy! Would you like to join me, my friend? 
Your turn. Okay. Uh, we will bash. And then we'll... Um, that's not going to be useful right now. Do a tackle. And a rock throw. Alright. And that's it. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to try and catch this gemlin. We're going to try and catch the gemlin. Alright. Uh, reduce armor by one. Use armor by one. And we'll deal... Actually, no, we'll apply one rage. Because that should be useful. And that's it? Okay, rage wears off after time. Okay. Good to know. Alright. Reduce target's armor. Now you're dizzy. Let's apply one rage. And we'll deal 8 damage. Ooh, 12 damage. Nice. Now, can I feed him? I don't have energy. Okay, so you have to have energy to feed. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, let's see. Feed. Um, woven into cloth. Feed wild spirits during battle to tame them. Use. Feed to Gemlin. We can't feed a spirit while it's dizzy. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. I don't want to kill it. So we're gonna end our turn. There's no for you on Discord. Okay. I will look in a moment, Amaryllis. All right, I would like to feed you. Uh, we're gonna feed you. Um, feed. Uh. Okay, how do you tame though? I have to use the moonstone? Interesting. Um, aim? Oh, I see! You have to fill up the heart! You have to fill up the heart! I get it, I get it. Gemlin has joined the party. Alright, All right. Gemlin curled into a ball. Include us pretend that didn't happen. That's adorable. Alright. So, that was exciting. And now we have two monsters. Dig. Oh, okay. It was like, dig? You cannot dig down here, though. Oh, that's cute, game. Okay, so, noted. Rocks respawn. Noted that rocks do respawn. Um, alright, well, let's... Go ahead and set up our farm here. I don't have this many seeds, but whatever. So I wonder how you heal your monsters. Probably by sleeping, would be my guess. Also, does it tell me how to craft cloth yet? It does. How many do we need? We need three. Ah, I have a balloon! We have a balloon! Flax. Okay, perfect. Plant, 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 plant. I need lots of flax for taming all of our monsters. 
and plant some stone fruit too because we can. And off we go. Come on. I probably got enough rocks to make that one lady happy, too. But perhaps we should do that. We also need to cut down more wood. What's that? What's this? What? Oh, is this a hot springs? Oh, dude, that's awesome! I found a hot springs! Oh. Interesting. Oh my god, that's so awesome that they put uh, pronouns on this. I love that. Oh, wow. Lots of seeds. I'm curious, is this healing my monsters, I wonder? Look at them! Hi. Follow me, feed, move to spirit barn, let go. <laughs> you can change who follows you. That's awesome. Wait. Hold on, can I have two of them following me? Hold on. You can have two of the monsters following you. That's so cute. Oh, that is beyond adorable. All right, so what's next? I'm guessing this is a dungeon, maybe? There's no map. Uh... Uh oh. Ah! Ah! No! All right. Well, I guess we'll fight him. Why not? Hi, bug. Hot springs. It is a nice touch, Flurry Fox. It is. Enemy turn. Okay. All in foe. Ow. Oh, my monsters are dying. My monsters are dying. I probably should flee. Yeah, welcome on in, Cog. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Oh, buddy. Okay. Um, all right. I don't have enough energy. Oh. Okay, so running takes all of your energy. Got it. Well, we're probably going to lose. There we go. Yeah. Let's not and say we did. Although I guess I could feed my little guy stone fruit. Okay, thorns hurt. Noted. Oh, we found a dungeon. He definitely found a dungeon. Let's see about turning in that one quest we have. Excuse me. Give. Yeah, I definitely do. And I don't know if there's a way to heal up beyond sleeping or stone fruit. Doing better. Well, that's good to hear, Cog. That's good to hear, because I know you were a bit under the weather, too. Should have set my tent up here. All right, well, let's go back to town and see what we can see about doing stuff in here. It's an understatement. Fair, fair, Cog. Yeah, I heard you were feeling very, very poorly earlier. All right, so I guess we're going the wrong way. We need to go south. I mean, we could just take the balloon, too. Um, that's a good question, Flurry Fox. That's a good question. Does it heal them? Let's find out. 
those seeds. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I don't think my character has health. Bomb button. I'm pretty sure my character does not have health. I think it's just on my monsters. But let's see if that heals up the monsters. It's worth a shot. I mean, I can see that that's restoring my stamina. Now, we know the dinosaur was passed out, so let's see. One out of 20. Okay. Now, it's going to my stamina. Because if you look right next to the lightning bolt, that number is going up. But let's run it for a minute more and see. Does this heal my monsters? It does not. Okay. The Hulk is the horniest out of all the superheroes. <laughs> there is nothing he would not smash. Ah, oh, that's not untrue. That is not untrue. Yeah, so it looks like the only way to heal the monsters is with the stone fruit, which is fine. That's something to keep in mind. <laughs> and yes, that that was that was uh close, but we're fine. That wasn't too lewd. Uh oh, I see a fishing shack. Do I get fishing in this game? Oh, six thirty tomorrow. Boo. Hi, fisher person. Tobin. Ah, you're going for a way, aren't you? Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting such a long time. I offered to make you tea, but my kettle's broke. Oh, where's me manners? I'm Tobin. T-O-B-I-N. I s- Wow. I is the bi who catches the fishes, they say. Lovely to meet you. Okay, so is he Scottish? Oh, no. There we go. He likes jokes. <laughs> Just the Fisher Price. Uh-huh. That's terrible, Flurry Fox, but I love that joke. Just the Fisher Price. Alright. So we've explored a little bit more of the island, which is good. We have explored more of the island. I'm also wondering... How do you save? Hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering, how do you save the game? Like, this might be one of those ones that they're, uh... Because I haven't seen it auto-save, so I wonder if this is one of those ones where you play, and, uh, because it's a demo, it doesn't save your progress. I wonder... That's not a joke to toy with. Uh, you're on par with those puns today. Quill? Oh, you're cute, too. Oh, you're the new mechanic. I mean, no. What was it? Alchemist. Alchemist. We haven't had one before, so I might forget the word again. Nice to meet you. Ooh, what do you have to sell? Coffee, beer, wine. Okay. Can I get you anything? It's pretty quiet today. Um... Give gift? How about rocks? No way, I really like... Yeah, that's broken. <laughs> you swung a chip in with that far crafty just saying, I don't get it, Roy. Um, okay, I thought I had a quest for you. Um... Cut grass, fly off the island with a balloon... Craft a cell crate. Cell st Oh! Okay, okay. Okay. Um. Wow, Crafty, you put your home like. Ugh, golf jokes won't go very far here. We're under par. Ugh. The ball from the hole from. Oh, gotcha, Roy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not all up on the golf terms. If my golfing doesn't involve a windmill and uh, doing trick shots with a putter, 
I am not all about that golf. I am much more of a mini golf person. All right, more seeds. We're heading back to my house, which for some reason I decided to place at the complete opposite side of the map. Because reasons, apparently. <laughs> I may have a driver's license, but that doesn't mean I go the distance. <sighs> oh, the delightful puns. All right, so we can chop some more trees while we wait for nightfall. But yeah, I'm not, not much of a golfer. My... God, my aunt and my grandma were huge fans of golf. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Y'all are on par with those puns today. Not a bad thing. Oh! That's my warning that I'm getting low on stamina. Yep, I've got that song stuck in my head now, too, Cog. Alright, I'm guessing if I let my energy run out, that's a bad thing. So, let's go ahead and we'll plant another flax seed because those are more important than the stone fruit. And let's go ahead and make a cell crate. And sort. I'm going to move that cell crate up here. Go ahead and place it. Oh, it's big. No, don't go down there, you moron. Well, 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 would you look at that? Well, welcome on in, FX Peanut, and thank you for continuing to be an executive producer for three heckin' months. That is very, very sweet of you. How are you doing today? That's quite the way to make an entrance. Um, okay. Can it give me an open spot to put this down? How many more can we wedge in? Oh my god. Of course, we're dividing the ions to say more of an albatross. <laughs> See, that joke I got. That joke I got because of the whole birdie thing. All right, so I'm... Oh, no, what? Okay, I can put the cell crate in my house. Sure. That works. All right, I would like to sell 20 of these. Oh, not that many. No! Come on. No, there. Yes, sell. Ha! All right, stones have been sold. Let's get into bed before it's too late. Yes. First, we're dying the islands. It's been an interesting weekend. Start of a new week. Stone fruit, you can kill enemies. Can you? I think everyone is fired. Well, fired in the best way possible. Fired in the best way possible. All right. So I just realized I just reopted this and going to announce. Mm. That's interesting, Amaryllis, because it might just be behind. I said fired, not baked. Well, I'm kind of baked on Sudafed at the moment. My my brain is not functioning very well right now. I also wonder if you can improve your stuff here. Expecting change which way I'm not sure change this way. Well, that's fair. That's fair, FX Pina. It's only February, though. Change may be coming. Crafty is fully stoned. Yeah, I'm a little loopy. I mean, I'm glad the Sudafed is working. At least I can breathe. It'd be nice if it would unclog my ear, but... And yes, Crafty is a miner. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, I am curious what this does. So let's try our balloon. Like the diamond head meatball spider. Yes, that is our gemlin. That is our gemlin. Whoa, what? Uh, okay. Um, I am just floating now. And yes, I am Pennywise. Um, let the FBI see you. This is precious. 
This is absolutely precious. I don't know where it is going, but I expect to see clown soon, maybe. <laughs> they all float, yes. Oh, we found an island! We found an island! Here we go, chat. We've got a new place to explore. Quest completed. Take flight. Okay. So, good to know that it does not, um... It does not use the balloon to fly from island to island. Now, the fun part is going to be I realize that I have to get back to my own island on time. Oh, I see a moonstone. Give. Oh, no, the gemlin. Your turn. Okay. Reliable talent. All right, reduces armor. Reduces tackle cards. Rage, rage, rage. Okay, so let's get rid of that armor. It's interesting that it attacks with both of the monsters. So I guess we'll do this. Um, yes. So I should be able to use tackle now. And I should have done rage. Oh well, we'll do rock throw too. And that's it for my turn. Reduce armor by one. Because I like making them dizzy. Deal 12 earth damage. If target is banished, refill your energy. Ooh, we'll keep that one for later. Um, so, tackle. And tackle. Yeah, we'll hold on to that fallen foe. Fancy spin, just discard, draw one, reduce target's armor. Now let's do another bash. And we'll do a third bash. Nice. We'll do a fancy spin, discard, draw one. Choose one card to discard, we'll discard that one. And another bash, but I don't have the energy for it. Okay. in Sky Islands. Yes, Flurry, we, we did move islands. We did move islands. Uh, we don't need to reduce his armor anymore, so let's apply a rage. Up, 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 up. Let's go ahead and reduce by one per turn. Let's do another rage. And then you're just going to do a crap ton of damage here. Nice. Hank Leo grew to level three. Gremlin or Gemlin gained 50 experience. Loot found. Found flax flower. Okay. So we've got a level up to do. I have upgrade points to spend in my medallion. Oh, this game is charming. This game is absolutely charming. And yeah, we'll we'll upgrade in a moment. I'm collecting seeds right now. Collecting seeds and exploring this very small island. Apparently this island is small. But there's a dungeon down there. Your moon rock thing. What do you mean? Yeah, we can do the medallion really quick. Ankleo is leveling up. I I don't know what you mean, Cog. I am brain dead. 
Uh, all right, let's give you more speed. You didn't pick up whatever that. Oh, okay. I'll go back. Um, put one card on your hand on top of the draw pile. Deal damage two times. I like that. Oh, we'll go back and get it. We'll go back and get it. This is a very small island. A very small. <gasps> oh, I must catch it. What is this? Oh my god, what is this thing? Mumbleweed. Oh my god, it's cute. That was the thing I imagined the smile lines were procedural. It is, it is flurry. Yeah, all of this is procedurally generated, which means it's a unique playthrough every time you do it. Which is kind of awesome. Um, all right, can I feed you now? Uh, no, feed him. Feed. I might not have enough. No! I don't have enough to, f oh no, I can't tame it. I can't tame it. I don't have enough. Boo. Oh, man. The blue and islands are what I mean. I don't know, like the whole game with the blue and islands. Uh, I believe that all of the game is procedurally generated. I believe uh, the starting island and all of the other islands are also procedural. So it's, it's a monster collection, deck building, farming roguelike. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure. I am fairly sure that uh, everything is procedurally generated, even the starting island. Do not quote me on that because this is just a demo. But I believe it, it is all procedural. Which is why I'm so excited about this flipping game. All right, so now, go ahead and deal damage. Unfortunately, we can't tame it because I don't have enough leaves. Up, 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 and welcome on in, Sinful. Welcome in, welcome in. This game is called Moonstone Island. So next time you take the balloon, it could be another island. If so, this is the best. Yaha. Uh -huh. Oh, there's apparently hundreds of islands, Flurry Fox. And each island can have an element associated with it, so you can get different creatures, too. But yeah, Sinful, this game is called Moonstone Island. Um, do I have a rage card? No, but I can do this. I love the style, I'm interested. Oh, heck yeah, I will try to get the demo for you sinful it's not available on steam anymore but i might be able to just send you the uh the executable so you can play it too i have upgrade points to spend the medallion but yeah this is this is a very unique game that i am so excited about i think this one actually does have a release date too but don't quote me on that Um, well, we've got time. Let's go ahead and do this. But yeah, it's a, a very unique concept where this is a monster collection, farming, roguelike <laughs> deck builder. It's a very interesting concept. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's hilarious. I probably should head home. Oh, no worries, Bronto. No worries. I totally understand the, uh, the work stuff. All right. So our Gemlin evolved. Or not evolved, but uh, leveled up. Um, We'll give him more armor. Deal six damage, remove one armor. Uh, no. We'll take that one, too, please. I like that. Yeah, this is our second demo for the day, and I am mm -hmm, 
Mmm, I like it. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, okay, I wonder. I wonder what that shade on the map is. I bet you... Oh, that's not good, Winter Bunnage. They probably should give them a bath then. So there's a shadow on the map here. Okay, so that shadow is another island. Good to know. Good to know. What? I found a stargate. I literally found a stargate. Ooh! Ooh, what is this? Beat to a spirit to upgrade a card from their deck. Beat to a spirit to remove a card. Beat to a spirit to add... What? Meditate. Yeah, card buffs. Sweet! Okay, that's freaking awesome. Oh, I cannot wait to see this game come out. Also, is this Island of Spiral? It looks like it. Oh, Crafty, that's why you didn't have more flowers, is because you've been harvesting them for seeds. That's why you got confused, my dear, as you're harvesting them for seeds. Yeah. Yeah, those talismans are going to be very useful. That's fine. We'll get more flax seeds. And we'll get our little farm going. It's a shame this is only limited to one week in the demo. Oh, level five. I don't think so. Um, and look at how big this map is, too. <laughs> this map is huge. Look at this. All right, so we've got more islands to discover. Whee! Let's go home. I wonder, though, if you could drop onto those islands you see down in the sea there. I wonder. Oh! Oh, bugger. I just realized this takes stamina. And thank you for that gift sub, Winter Bunnichi, and welcome, Zero Wolf, to the ranks of the executive Wondered by Maki gifted one subs. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh no, we ran out of stamina. You passed out from exhaustion. Keep an eye on your stamina. Whoops. Oh. We still haven't cleared a dungeon. Okay, this guy's cool. You're lucky I found you out there. These islands are dangerous. Try and be more careful next time, will ya? Well, this is very Studio Ghibli. Holy crap. Dude, hi! You're lucky I found you. Blah, blah, blah. Can I talk to your fish? Yeah, it is a lot of talismans. And thank you again, Winter Bonnachie, for gifting that sub to a Flurry Fox. Flurry Fox, welcome to the ranks of the executive producers. Enjoy that ad free viewing and the wonderful emotes. All right, well, let's try and get home this time and not pass out from exhaustion. <laughs> So, duly noted, I have to watch my exhaustion to make sure that I don't uh, run out. Well, that, that's fair, Winter Bunnage, and I'm having a pretty good Monday. I'm having a pretty good Monday here. Playing some good demos. Hanging out with some awesome people. Uh, making my wish list on Steam cry. And my future uh, expenses are going to cry after this. But that's just how we roll here. That is just how we roll. Okay, we'll help you with that. That's true. That is true, Cog. And thank you again, Winter Bonnachie, for gifting that sub to Roy the Dragon. 
Troy, welcome on into the executive producers. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, so I need to water my plants. Last 20 things I've listed on Steam or not. Yeah. Well, the vast majority of my Steam wish list is uh, games that have not come out yet. Although there's a lot of titles on there that I'm keeping an eye on just to grab if they're on a really good sale. That's why I always make sure that my top 10 is actually my. Oh my goodness, Cognitive Cog. What are has you doing? gifted five subs. What are you doing, Cog? Oh boy. And, God, I wish my alerts were working today. And thank you, Cognitive Hazard, for gifting those five Tier 1 subs to the community. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome on in to the executive producers, Techno Indica, Jack of Spades, Bronto Tops, Aurora Soul, and Cryptographic Kangaroo. Welcome in, welcome in. You are being a butt, Cog. You are being a butt. <laughs> but thank you for that. And welcome on into the executive producers, all that just received those gift subs. Enjoy the ad free viewing emotes and make sure to thank your gift subber if you are able. That's very sweet of you, Cog. That's very, very, very sweet of you. Ugh. What is with y'all breaking me on Mondays? I swear to goodness, you like to torture me and just break me completely on Mondays. Particularly when I'm at a low resistance. Because I am at a semi-low resistance being high on uh, Sudafed right now. I'd like to see these other two islands before we run out of time. Oh, well, let's see where this one leads us. Yeah, pretty much, Winter Bunnichy. Crunch Crafty Mondays, yeah. Well, legit, it is not easy to, or it is not uh, difficult to break me these days. I can do that once a month. Well, it's very sweet of you, Winter Bunnergy. I just trust that you all are taking care of yourselves <laughs> before you spoil the crafty. That's all I ever ask, is make sure you take care of yourselves first before you spoil me. And thank you for that, Kagan, using that Prime sub here. You could use that anywhere on Twitch. And you decide to spoil a little old Crafty. But thank you for that. For eight months, jeez. He was hitting several, uh, yeah, it's... <gasps> what the heck is that? It's a beach ball. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go see if I can get some more flax flowers. And then we'll go harvest a beach ball, I guess. Oh, that is too funny. Yeah, that's fair, Cog. That's fair. And thank you for gifting that sub to a Dice Wolf winner, Bunnichi. And Dice Wolf, welcome on into the executive producers. Enjoy the ad free viewing and emotes. My goodness. Yeah, I know. I know, Flurry Fox. I'm trying to find more flax so I can tame another one. Um, all right. That should be enough. Yeah, that's three flax. That is three flax flowers. Is it still not announcing your thing, Amaryllis? Oh, what? What the heck? What love crafty and whore is this? Star C and Claudio. Oh my goodness. And yes, happy 14 months to you, Amaryllis. I don't know why it's being dumb. I really don't know why it's being dumb. All right, um, let's, I guess, tame the Star C. Because it's disturbing. 
interesting that you don't have to weaken them before you tame them. Oh, oh, <gasps> what? Hold on a second. When you tame them, they automatically join the party? Oh. Oh, that's a super interesting mechanic. Oh. That's amazing. Holy crap. Yeah, it does. It does, Bunny Fist. Okay, so when you... Oh, that's awesome. So when you tame, they automatically join the party and become available to attack. What? And now I have their attacks. Neither have I. Neither have I, Roy. Oh, if I had more flax, I would test that flurry, but I know they said the medallion only holds three. So my guess is that you have to have an empty slot for that to happen. I also need to build a barn now. Sure. Nice. And that costs zero. Um. Tidal wave, three targets. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. And the fact that they automatically get to be used. So cool. Unfortunately, that costs one, but that's fine. Everything else I can't use. Yeah, that's a really cool mechanic, actually. I wish I had more flax to see if we could tame him, too. But I have a feeling... That if you exceed your amount of spaces, well, maybe it'll let you trade them like it does in Pokemon. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too, Flurry. Um, all right, so we can get it down to no armor. And then start doing some massive damage. Um... I like it too how it, the cards are random to the I critter. I walked into the break room and the toasters were having a candle lit dinner. That's very concerning, Nordic. Maybe they're going to have little baby toasters soon. Mayhaps we will be graced with baby toasters. That will kill it. See, I kind of want to get more flax to see what happens when we try and tame a fourth. Oh, now you gave me a flax flower. I have upgrades points to spend in my medallion. Okay, well, let's... Let's see if I can get home before I fall asleep, shall we? I'm hoping at some point they'll give me a teleporter. Kill them with fire. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, let's see if I can't get back to base. Welcome on in. Welcome on in, Games with Jewel. And yes, I have limited control. I have limited control of the balloon. Let me go ahead and give you a shout out. But yeah, we have limited balloon control. Limited balloon control. But yeah, welcome on in. Welcome on in. We are playing Beat Saber. Nice. How was your Beat Saber, Games with Jewel? Yeah, I was hoping the talisman would be like a fast travel, but I'm not going to complain about uh, it being something I can feed to my monsters. Uh, hell no, I'm not renting a room. Forget that noise. I'll go back to my tent, thank you very much. Hey, welcome on in, Nightwild. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? Crafty, why did you put your tent, like, in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Honestly. Why? Why did you put your tent in the middle of nowhere, you silly, silly fox or? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I need to see if uh, I can get Beat Saber off of Zero Wolf's Oculus account. 
That's a delightful pun flurry. Oh, yeah. No, Beat Saber takes it out of you, just like DDR does. And actually, this is a fun thing. Uh, Zero Wolf and I might be inheriting my brother's uh, Step Mania. Not Step Mania. Uh, Cobalt Flux, actually. I need to remind my brother about that. But uh, he is looking to get rid of his Cobalt Flux hard DDR pad. And has extended the offer for Zero Wolf and I to inherit it, so I'm, like, super excited. <laughs> welcome on in, Shen. Welcome in, welcome in, and thank you for the welcome back. I survived the vacation and only brought home a cold. Only brought home a cold. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do a speed upgrade. And we'll do a... Fancy Spin Plus, because that sounds fun. Ankleo, let's level you up. Uh, we'll level up your armor. And... Because I have to. Don't you just hate it when your cat wakes you up like this? <laughs> meow. 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 Ooh. Meow. 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 Oh, thank you for that, Amaryllis. Thank you for that. But yeah, dancing does take it out of you. Definitely takes it out of you. Or just smothered by cat belly. Yeah, I got woken up by a small feline pawing at my cheek. Like she does. Like she does. Progress has been saved. All right, so we're going to... What? What? You saw that. You saw that, right, chat? What the heck was that? I saw a wee spirit. Cats are brats all the time. <laughs> Let's be honest. Cats are brats all the time. Ooh, how's it going? Come visit me at the smithy shop and bring 10 pieces of copper ore. I'll show you something cool. Don't worry, you can find ore in mines, which are hidden under rocks, so smash them open and see if you can find one. Well, already done. I don't know if I have ten pieces, though. Um, we have one piece of copper ore. Okay. Okay. Hey, boss. Some random facts for you again. Yeah. A group of porcupines is called a prickle. Also, a group of hippos is called a bloat. He he. Bloat. <laughs> It's appropriate name for a group of hippos. Until I'm not used to playing with a keyboard and mouse. But I'm not going to muck around if my controller has decided to be dumb. Yeah, I tried all three sets of batteries, Zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mur yep, Murder of Crows. A Clouder of Cats is one of my favorites. I wonder who came up with these names for groups of animals. Also, this guy back here is just super creepy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We were going to get, um... Hold on, we were going to get some copper ore. That's what I was going to do. A Clouder of Cats. And what is it? A Parliament of Owls is the other one. Ooh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nice copper ore. Yes, and ferrets are weird. Was it a business of ferrets? Yep, business affairs, not bias. Oh, totally not. Totally not, Gagan. Hey, boss. More facts. Ew. Bears don't poop while in hibernation. Sounds like a recipe for constipation to me. It's totally not shared assets. <laughs> I agree, though. It does look like the, uh, the asset. 
a Congress of Baboons. That's another awesome name. But yeah, it does look like it's the same sprite that, uh, uh, it does look like it's the same sprite that Stardew uses. Also, I like the fact that the, uh, the enemies disappear when you're down here. Or not enemies, your, your follow guys. That recipe is grass and mud. Yeah, I know, I know, Bronto Tops. He's gonna be quiet until I, uh, fix the audio. But the game audio was not playing nice. So we had to kind of mute a real a little bit. Um, I don't know if I have enough to tame you. I might not have a choice. What a shame that Robinsons and Wimbledon have ended their 86-year-long partnership. Apparently, the split was cordial. Ha ha ha. That's good, Molina. That's good. My brain is still stuck on boops, or boops? Wow. Hi! I have Sudafed. I, my brain is still stuck on bears don't poop while hibernating. This is where my brain is at, is that bears don't poop when hibernating. Ooh, do I not have enough room for that? Psychic Sight Potion. Uh, okay. Um. Interesting. I don't know how to access my menu now. For having garlic madness. Oh, that's awesome, Amaryllis. We still have not tried that recipe. So you did kindly share that one with Discord, and we have not tried it yet. Is sore, so I can't speak very loud. Please forgive me. <laughs> It sounds kind of like me right now, Jack. And yes, Slacker Unchained, many a time, many a time I have been in that situation. Um, probably don't have enough flowers to tame it. We could try. Alright, let's see. Reduce target to armor by two, yes. Nice. And let's go ahead and bite. Six damage. And we can do a fancy spin and see if this does something. Nope, nothing. I is in for crafty. Okay, well that makes sense. Right, he's already dizzy. So let's do one of these. And then one of these. Think about the first bathroom. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Jack. I wonder if bears, like, eat something that'll act as a laxative. Ooh, double attack here. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'm getting good at this now. I am getting good at this. <coughs> if we were to block themselves up. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, Jack. You draw an attack card, reduce its cost to zero. Sure, why not? Nice. Free six damage there. And this will knock him out. Yay! Ooh, and we found a stone fruit. This is a fun character to play. And welcome on in, Scrub Lord. Welcome on in, and thank you for continuing that tier one sub for ten heckin' months. Is very kind of you. How are you doing today, Scrub Lord? We are in the throes of the demo Rama right now. Where we are playing some interesting games. Oh. Uh -huh. Actually, that's not bad. I'm not against using exhaust cards. 
think that's the best one. Just had some dinner nice. I am gnawing on a hunk of cheese and regretting the fact that I did not uh, grab a drink while I was up. I can answer the bear facts. I mean, I want to know them. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the most up... Where are the Cheetos? <laughs> I like how he's like, where are the Cheetos? Demorama, the only kind of drama. Yeah, exactly, Flurry. Exactly. And yes, I am gnawing on a hunk of cheese. Because that is what the Crafters is doing. Oh, yeah. We're going to try I for inventory. And look, it works. Our sort. We got three flowers now. We could try and tame something. But we got our ore, so let's go visit the blacksmith. Actually, we need to go this way. And yes, Nam indeed. Probably not the best thing to have for lunch, but I'm planning on getting some soup after Strem. I am getting some soup after Strem today. Because that will just be good for my little bit of huskiness that I still have going on. Cheese soup? That'd be nice. Sometimes as they wake up, they pass that. Well, it makes sense. It makes sense, Jack. I would expect with the food that they're eating, too, that some of it would already have a laxative effect, like some of those berries and such. Uh, because it can, Dice. Because it can. He's kind of disturbing, to be honest. I mean, I like the starfish, but he's also creepy. And yes, the island is floating. Cut down a big tree yesterday. Hoping for some new wood, but it was all right away inside. Plus, well, this heavy rain we've been having lately. Shop. Workbench. Gramophone. I thought cheese was pet for mice. <laughs> only, only in large doses. Two Eskimos <laughs> sitting in a kayak were chilly, but when they lit a fire in the craft, it sank, proving once and for all that you can't have your kayak and heat it. That is terrible, Molina, and I love it. No! That is terrible, and I love it. Yeah, probably, Jack. Probably. Says bait for traps. Yeah, let's... <laughs> don't choke on the cheese. I swear, that was the litany of my grandmother whenever we got, uh... Whenever we got, uh, cheese sticks at any restaurant, that was her litany, was don't choke on the cheese. Strange things from my childhood. Alright, blacksmith. We're gonna give you some copper. Oh, it's you. You're the new alchemist, right? She is adorable. Are you dateable? You're cuter than I thought you'd be. I was imagining some old guy with a beard. Gift gift. I will give you silver. Gift. A gift. You're such an old fashioned romantic. I just run out of these. Thanks. Hawk. Cat? Yeah. No. Oh, and that's true, because peanut butter doesn't spoil typically. Oh no, oh no, Flurry. I have, I have never done that. Okay, so we can upgrade our stuff, which is awesome. And yes, I do, Cog. Yes, I do. Ask out on a date. Um, Alright, we already shopped. Uh, do I have to ship this? Is that why it's not working? Um... Sell copper at the... S oh, I have to sell it to her. Okay. So. <laughs> welcome on in, Silver. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? I buy ore and ingots at 150%. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you so much. Here, take this crafting recipe for a furnace as a welcome gift. I run the forge in town, but you need your own furnace to smelt metal ore into ingots. My forge is way too expensive to rent out. Sorry. And if you bring me, let's see, three iron ingots, I'll teach you to make armor. 
Sorry, I know that's a lot of stuff to jump on you, but no rush. Just trying to help a newcomer. Oh, you're awesome. I'm making it. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Fighting a cold right now, but that's okay. We're kind of fighting a cold at the moment, but that is something I can deal with. Um, what was I doing here? What are her pronouns? Okay, so Farah is she, her. I love this, by the way. I love that they've got pronouns in here for everybody. That makes me so happy. Yeah, we do have an alarming starfish thing, don't we? I like him. I like him. Alright, so let's see. What can I craft? Anvil, cauldron, moonstone enchanter. There is a lot to this. Yes, I would like to craft that. Nice. Alright, so let's go set up our furnace. Starcy brainstorming <laughs> session transcript. Okay, so you know Pokemon's star, you right? Yeah? Okay, now let's add a touch of nightmare fuel. Just a touch <laughs> as we still want it to be cute. Why? Why not? <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> Sorry. You're not wrong, Flurry Fox. You are not wrong, my friend. I am not heading the right place. Fox fact instead. Foxes make use of the Earth's magnetic field to hunt. I really do love how he says foxes. Makes him sound like he's swearing every time. Nice! Ooh, okay. Three wood or ore or moonstone. He reminds me of Patrick Star if he was blue with many eyes going lee dill lee dill lee ee -e. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, that is too funny. Okay, so how does this work? Hole. Um. Ah! Got it. Okay, okay, okay. I see how this works now. Add three wood, ore, or moonstone. I'm curious. Wood, 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 wood. I should have plenty of wood. Did I use all my wood? Apparently I did. All right. And let's do three of these. Start. One iron ingot. Ah, so you can't use multiples. Okay. Interesting. And yeah, it is kind of like started with my... What is that? That's twice now I've seen a spirit in my house. But yeah, this is this is a very interesting game called Moonstone Island. That is kind of a combination between a farming sim, a monster collection sim, a deck builder, and a roguelike. <laughs> they they kind of they kind of covered all of the bases here with this one. They kind of got all of the Ooh. Oh, I can't do it there. Ooh. Um, okay. Can I? Maybe. Hold on. Let's try something here. Can I? Balloon? No. Stand on an edge and face the sky. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, Shen. That'd be kind of awesome, actually, if they, uh, if they had critters in here that would help me with the farm. Yeah, the best comparison, honestly, that I can give for this game is it's very much like Rune Factory, where you've got the whole um, kind of battle aspect to the game along with everything else. There's the hot springs. I'm trying to figure out how to get over to that gate. And a little skullduggery here might get me to that. There we go. There we go. Look at that, chat. All right, let's open up our Stargate. Nice. Upgrade a card from the deck. Thank you. Grab that. Grab that. 
totally cheesed my way around. Sorry, not sorry. Uh-oh. I ran out of stamina again. Did four games, five darts, and just blind each result they hit, and they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did, Flurry. Saturday, spring six. E save and go to sleep. Nice, nice, Scrub Lord. All right, so this is the last day that the demo is going to let me play. So this is a pretty good spot to uh, wrap things up. But yeah, what do we think about that one, chat? What do we think about that one? I think this one is going directly onto my wish.